With conditional formatting in Excel, you can change the appearance of cells to a certain color or shading based on the condition. So the first thing we do, we highlight the range here. We're going to go into conditional formatting. You could add these all these things here, okay? And if I just click in here, um, icon sets, you can get these little visual things. So I'm going to click in here, and it's based on criteria that were predetermined, like for mid, top, and low range. What I want to do is change how it appears. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on conditional formatting again. I'm going to go into manage rules. I want to edit the rule. It's showing what we have here. We've got a little bit of work to do. It is pretty easy. It's looking at the type and percents here that they're meeting a certain level here. But what it is here, if I want to go here and I want that green arrow to appear, if it's like 500 or more, I have to change this here to number, okay? And then I'm going to type in 500. It's saying greater than, equal to. But if I want it to be greater than, I click inside here. So the 500 will not show up. Now the next thing here, I want to do the yellow in here if it's, let's say below or above a specific range here. So it's saying less than, less than equal to 500 based on what's above here. I'm going to change this again to number. And it wants to say greater than zero here. But let's say I want to make this, it has greater than equal to here. I'll just say leave it at greater than equal to. And I will say 45 because it will show the 45s in there. And if I don't want something to appear, I don't need the red signs there. I could just say no cell icon. I can say OK. I can apply. It's showing that. You can keep editing the rule. I'm going to edit this rule again. I could change the appearance here. Let's say I don't want that green arrow. I want like a flag or something. I can go into here and I could go whoopie doo, go to a green check mark. And I could change that yellow one to something else. I could make it like a warning sign or a red flag. And I say OK apply so we're not seeing the ones that the 500 is going below there so if I want to edit it again I'm going to go to edit rule and I'm going to say when value is greater than equal to 500 okay okay so the 500 has changed that is icon sets in conditional formatting in a nutshell